what's happening with our power? Wow, okay. So, generally, um, there has been some challenges, technically mostly, that have led to the sort of uh, problems that we have seen. Mm -hmm. um, the pigging exercise was a routine man maintenance exercise mm -hmm. that was being done by the West Africa Gas Pipeline. Now, we couldn't have stopped this because uh, it's a four-nation compact that brought about the West African Gas Pipeline. Mm -hmm. And so we could not unilaterally delay it any further. We had to allow it to, to, to go on. Now, knowing that that was going to create some shortages in the Eastern Enclave, I mean, the Tema area with mm -hmm. power production, we made enough room for the procurement of uh, alternate fuels. But mm -hmm. we had to do some conversions of the plants from gas consumption to, um, what do you call it, to, to alternate fuels. Some okay. of them were light crude oil, some of them were heavy fuel oil, among others. Now, this conversion was done. We have enough stocks of fuel, but the plants also had a mind of their own. And I cannot sit here and tell you exactly how come these things were happening. But I'm aware that we've had a shaft problem with one of them. We've had a governor problem with one of them. There's some vibration issues with one of them as well. And these led to some of these technical difficulties that we had. We had an option to either run them despite their faults, if we could, and that would have probably led to greater damages for us as a country. Or we had to, you know, use what we had that was equitable to, to work with. Now, having done that, that also created a second problem. Mm -hmm. Now, is, when it comes to thermal production in this country, we have the Abwazi enclave, and then we have the Eastern enclave, which is Tema. Now, when you lose quite an amount of generation in the Eastern enclave, it creates some grid instability. Mm. And that is what has led to the low current and the you know volt voltage fluctuations mm. that we have seen across the country. But we are on top of this issue, and we are sure that by early next week, very early next week, um, all of these problems should be solved. Um, we issued a statement that a pigging was supposed to end latest by the 21st of March. But right. I can say that um, it will end earlier than that. I do not want to engage in this thing where... Uh, you, you go with the best case scenario. I always like to rely on the worst case scenario okay. so individuals are, are adequately prepared. Is Jumso back? No, it's not. So why are our, lights, our lights going off when we were told that like we have I said, we've excess had, capacity? Now, that, that's, that's also an issue that I need mm -hmm. to explain. Now, excess capacity means that we have enough plants that gives us more than enough cap capability. Now, if you have all those plants in the system, mm -hmm. what you need to do mm -hmm. is ensure that they are all available for dispatch. Mm. Now, in this particular scenario, what we have is that some of the plants have gone down, downtown. It doesn't mean that they are not available. It just means that we need to you know, do some repair works. Sometimes some of these works will take a day. Sometimes it will take two months. Sometimes it will take three days. But it doesn't mean that that capacity is not available. At what time of the day does it happen? Because usually when you get home, peak periods, that's when your light goes off. You, if, if, if there are challenges, you will feel it the most during peak periods. Because okay. if there are challenges in, in the system, it is a peak period that everybody is consuming electricity. That's when you realize where the faults are. And sometimes, really, um, if, unfortunately for us, when faults are going to occur, mostly they occur during the peak period because that's when the demand is high. So when the machine is put through the stress, mm -hmm. then if there are any issues therein, that's when you find, you find out that this, this is the problem. So mm -hmm. if at 5 o'clock, a generator tells you that I cannot come on stream. There's very little that that you can do. But I'm assuring the people of Ghana that by latest by next week, as we have said, we we, we will have all of these issues sorted out. The pigging, I believe that um, we received what may be the final pig somewhere early, la uh, late last week, and the analysis are being conducted. We did not see the uh, you know the amount of effluence that we're talking about, and so we are hopeful that it could end earlier than anticipated. What, what do you say to those who say there's no pigging but you owe money so go and pay the money get the gas and give us our lights and stop explaining your way out um the legacy debts that we came to meet in this country i mean uh, a program was organized in november 2018 and mm -hmm. that's at november 2018 the west africa gas pipeline company itself admitted that indeed we had paid about 70 percent of the legacy debt now we have a system where it is take and pay mm -hmm. so you take and we pay we are no longer doing you know, accumulation of debt among others. So that is not the issue at all. Mm. I think that those who are saying that, you know, it may either be out of mischief or they are just trying is to... Is there truth to take, it? No, it's not an issue of we debt at all. If you say you don't owe, we don't owe, I, I don't... Is I the don't, light going off because we owe? No. Okay. 
that's that's not the case at all i mean on the 17th of january 2020 way before all of these things happened we issued a statement in and before that there had been meetings starting from somewhere june of last year trying to find out and bring all the four countries in sync with okay. this pagan exercise so it could not be the case that this is a debt issue the nigerians may have issued a statement or even wapku and they are they're right here in ghana wapa is also here in ghana you can do your checks and find out if indeed we owe any money and that is what is resulting to all of that that is not true okay we are having technical challenges mm -hmm. we are sorry for the inconveniences that the people of ghana are facing right now it is our wish that it, that it shouldn't have come but these are tech machines that we are working with sometimes we do face some of these technical challenges i i, I heard a school of opinion mm -hmm. say that maybe it is as a result of the conversion of the plants from the gas to the alternate fuel is that, that what it is well i cannot say definitively that okay. that is what it is Your engineers have not told you like I'm saying, I cannot say definitively that that is what it is. A lot of reasons are being adduced as to why these things have happened. But all I can say is that they've led to technical challenges. And these technical challenges are being dealt with. Latest by next week, all of these things will be dealt with. So if we, know, if we know when the problem will end, in the meantime, while we know that a lot of demand is on our energy you know, production during peak hours, why don't we put out a timetable so that it at least puts people... In, in check, it lets people know when they can have power and when they cannot have power. The time Rather than I leave them, they get home, they are expecting to iron their shirt. The timetable assumes that you know, for example, that okay, fuel is not available and so you cannot dispatch these plants and then that's where the issue is. What we are facing right now is not that sort of matter. But in any case, you may also want to avert your mind to the fact that um, in its entirety, as it stands now, ECG has also put on hold some planned maintenance right. to ensure that. And so last night, if you do your general checks, you realize that the situation was way better than was previously experienced. The Kumasi scenario, I want to also, I want you to also carry out your checks in Kumasi. It's not, it's not what it, what it used to be anymore. Very good improvements have been made, and we okay. are sure. And that's is with that confidence that we are telling you that based on what we we are seeing and, and what we have latest. And again, I, I want to. We emphasize the fact that I'm mm. going with the worst case scenario. Okay. Latest by next week, all of these things will be done. Okay. So, Alex, take, take a bite on this one. Nana says uh, there's no cause for alarm and we're just doing pigging. We're cleaning out the pipes and latest by next week, everything will be fine. Do you uh, buy that? I don't uh, buy the explanation and I don't buy it for the simple reason that um, under, when we were in government, we had issues of generation of power. Right. By 2015, thereabouts, we had enough power. But we had technical difficulties, which he's talking about. Right. They were not prepared to listen to the technical difficulties. We told them there were issues with grid code, there were issues with ECG, mm -hmm. etc. And maintenance, pipe, gas not getting from A to B. They said we were incompetent because we were not in the and all they were interested in at the time was what you have just alluded to. Do we have lights? Why are we having to do so? Why are we getting there? And even then, we knowing the problems that were coming used to put out in advance. Mm -hmm. This is the timetable, which you've alluded to as, as well. We don't have a timetable. This has not been going on mm -hmm. for... The reason why you ask the question is doom so back. Mm -hmm. It's not because this is a one-week event. It has been going on for close to four weeks. And that is why the question you asked has weight. Now, in that four it weeks... says Tumso is not back. Well, so, but at least tell us where, how, may what I, is happening. May I kindly make an intervention? No, no, allow, 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 allow in, in, I just in, wanted to I could, say something to I, I, could, I could let in, you have my pen and paper so you could note your... I, I have a book. Thank you. Is to ensure that we get our lights. Okay. And based on... The rhetoric that was used. We're not using any yardstick that has not been used by the MPP. Okay. We've heard all this before. We had explanations. They were not prepared to listen. Are you prepared to listen to them? We've heard them, but they are the competent ones. Mm. So we don't expect them. At the very least, you ask the very important, tell us in advance this is going to happen. Mm. There seems to be a lack of synchronization, which we used to have. Because if ECG is now deciding to do various, uh, or has decided to do various works. Mm -hmm. They should be aware of it at the other end. Right. And you synchronize it such that 
the two don't happen at the same time or you minimize the effect mm. so one is getting the impression that the left hand is not talking to the right hand and that cannot also be right mm. so i'm not going to go into the uh, technicalities of all Ghanaians want is look where is that where are lights so and in, in two weeks it will come but where, where have you been for the weeks. last four weeks a week yeah well you were on the side of caution you went as far as 21st of march right and you went on the eye of, uh, uh, of caution. And I would advise you to stick to your caution. Because we've had this before. Mm. And from experience, these technical difficulties are not solved as quickly as one says. Mm. Now, we've known about, or the government has been aware of this process of uh, maintenance, refurbishment for a while. Mm. And so it begs the question, if you knew this was happening, and you should be aware that ECG is also doing various things, then you would clearly know that, look, we're going to be short of certain amount of power for a certain period. How are we going to load shed in that period? Should we not inform? You don't wait for the complaints to come in and then come out with the explanation, which is what always happens. What, what do you think could be holding the government from making this very important announcement to the people of Ghana? Well, we are told that it's not a financial issue. Mm -hmm. Some of us find that hard to believe. We believe that it's a serious financial issue. And maybe some uh, providers, even the issue of how to manage the, the gas. Mm -hmm. We've known for years that we had to put our gas plants in a position where we don't have to flare <coughs> gas. There's talk now of gas flaring, etc. Mm -hmm. And if we had managed our gas plant in the right manner, we possibly wouldn't have to go through the pain. How do you mean? There's also the issue of the pipeline that was being, when we left office, was being sent from uh, Atwabu mm. right to Tema mm. to, create the enclave, no, and, uh, to, to, create, to create that enclave. So if you manage it, for me, it's a question mm. of, the, of the management. management okay. It's not, we had, in our time, we had a bigger problem. The power simply wasn't there. We have solved that problem to the point where we were are being accused of having taken too much power or creating mm. too excess much capacity. excess capacity. <clears throat> Fine. Now that problem doesn't exist. Why are we still having a position where we having to go through a process of what we call doom so? Mm. But we are told it is not. No. But this has been going on for well over four weeks. Are you looking forward to a timetable? Well, I think it will be useful mm. because then we know when and for how long our, I didn't even say, the people in Kumasi have come out, a group came out in Kumasi and said, look, Tell us when you are going to put these lights off and when they are going to come back on. So at least we can plan our lives. Mm. Because if I know I don't have lights for the next 12 hours or for the next 8 hours, I know what to do. Mm. I know how not to open my freezer in that period so that my things go bad, etc. Mm. But if we don't know and these things go off, and I'm not using, I'm not being difficult. Okay. I'm just using the yardstick mm -hmm. that has been created for all of us Ghanaians by MPP. Now, now, is the left hand talking to the right hand? We are. And again, I, 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 li I like what uh, Mr. Alex Sebefia has done this morning. Effectively, what he has said is, listen, I've heard everything that you have to say, but I'll do my politics. Because, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's politics that you play. Is that what you heard? Because, I mean, if he says that... Um, the people out there want their lights. I agree with you. And, and I'm, not, I'm not going down that path okay. with yet. What I'm saying is, essentially, what Mr. Alex, um, what Mr. Alex Sebefia has said today mm -hmm. is that, listen... Well, you're giving us all of these explanations. I don't believe you. And remember, when we, when you were in opposition, you did the same to us. So essentially, you what you said doing? it was a wisdom problem. You said it was a financial problem. I'm not. I'm and not. And I remember when your former boss, Mr. Boache Jaku, was being nominated by the president. I was there at the Flagstaff House. He said that he's bringing him in because of his banking experience, to and so to solve the we're issues. able to get all. I'm of not that. having a challenge. So why are the issues still pertaining? Is it because I'm it's making, not there? The point I'm making mm. is that. Mr. <laughs> Alex basically this morning has admitted that, well, I've heard everything that you have to say, but I'm just doing my politics. You use the same no. yardstick, so I'm going to use the same, and that's, that's the, that's the no. measure he's established. The yardstick you used against me is what I'm going to use for you, so really, you may have all the people the of Ghana suffer. Well, yes. what I'm saying is that this is not all of the things that are being alluded to, and I would have been very happy if anybody had adduced any evidence to the fact that, to contradict what I am saying. I hope you get the point. There, there's, there's nothing along the lines of what they're talking about. 
we are having technical challenges. And these are facts. Very viable, very, you know, very easily ver verified. You can easily verify the things I'm talking about, mm -hmm. whether, there enough, whether enough fuel stocks were, were procured to ensure that if all the plants were running, we were going to be able to give everybody power. That statement, and I'll refer you again to it, 17th of January 2020, we said that, yes, the Ministry of Finance and other stakeholders mm -hmm. had collaborated to ensure that enough fuel had been procured and we have alternative um, ways of dispatching the power. Mm -hmm. But if the generators that are generating these, these, this power for us have gone down, then we are going to have to How long did we know that these okay, parts, these, these generators have gone So down. when they were running on gas, mm -hmm. there was no issue. There was none whatsoever. Right. We had to convert them from gas to use alternate fuels. Because and I'm we saying, couldn't pay for gas? Or what? No. We are doing pigging. So right. the gas is no longer coming from Nigeria. Right. That's, that's one. Right. Also, as a result of the pigging, we cannot flow gas from Takredi to Tema. Okay. because we are doing the pigging. Mm -hmm. So all of these stop. We have to, therefore, the Eastern Enclave either has to use alternate fuels mm -hmm. or we have to shut the entire Eastern Enclave down. Okay. We procured enough fuel for the Eastern Enclave mm -hmm. and we had to convert them from gas consumption to alternate fuel consumption. And I'm using the word alternate fuel consumption because they don't all use one fuel. Mm -hmm. The individual plants have different uh, fuels that they use. Now, in the process of the conversion, when we're done with the conversion, we started firing them up. We realized that they were generating technical thought by themselves, which is why I've alluded to the fact that there's a school of thought mm. that says that maybe some of the machines have gotten too acclimatized to the consumption of gas. What is the fact? You speak for the energy ministry. Uh, what is the I, actual see, situation? That's, that's why I said that you don't just get up and say what you want. You have to go through no, But testing. up until now, there, there must have been investigations. And, the focus, and you might have the found focus, out exactly the focus, what the real The focus is. For, for now mm. is to ensure that we restore power to the people of Ghana and that all of these issues we can always go back and look at these things but the immediacy of the situation lies on the fact mm. that we need to restore power what, what form of compensation is available to the Ghanaian who was just bought 200 Ghana cities credit be, is expecting to get his light and it goes home the light is not coming you are keeping his money i'm not saying you personally but you are keeping his money as a state and he's not getting the commodity I that, that he I find paid that, for. I find that a very interesting uh, Because I paid for service that I'm not getting. I agree with you. All I'm getting are explanations. That, it, does, it doesn't mean that once the situation is fixed, you lose the power that you have bought. But you I need it, it when I bought it. I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. And I'll be very willing to engage with you at a later time. But if you just allow me. So it is not. Well, I, th I thought you had finished. Yeah. It, it is not. I had no, asked that, but I just, quite a bit of. I, yes, I, I, yes, I just yes, want it's, to, I just it's only want fair to, that you allow Mr. Sebefi okay, as well. I, I just want to clarify that. It, so it is not an issue of financial difficulty because if it was financial, then the fuel wouldn't be available in the first place. Okay. That's one. So what's the problem? Uh, Wisdom problem. Technical you're problem. refusing to hear me, and so <laughs> it makes it very difficult. Uh, as, as though you're having a conversation with someone who has taken the NTOB attitude. But may may I say that? Um, I'm, I'm being the ordinary Ghanaian who will be watching by now because they don't have life, so they are watching us on uh, Facebook and they are thinking, what is this man talking about? Johnny, to be clear yes. and to be factual, we are having technical challenges. Okay. These technical challenges could not have been predicted by anyone. That's the truth. Okay. Look, if you wake up in the morning and you go and sit in your car mm -hmm. and you fire it up and the engine says, I'm not going to be fired up, Sometimes you could not have predicted what was going to happen. Okay. That's the truth. Okay. Thank and you. As a I, result of that, we are only appealing to the good graces of the people of Ghana. Mm -hmm. That these are the difficulties we are facing. We are being honest with you. We have always been honest with you. And we are giving you the strongest of assurances okay. that by latest by next week, okay. all of these things will be dealt with. Thank you. It is not a financial Thank problem. Thank it you. is not a wisdom problem. Okay. It is it's not a, any of the other things problem. that are being alluded okay. to. I just want to make uh, one comment on a few comments. Okay. I don't understand, mm -hmm. or is this an admission mm -hmm. by my colleague, that in actual fact, the excess capacity they were complaining about is necessary? Mm -hmm. Because even with the excess capacity mm -hmm. that you say we so wrongly did, you can't even fire us up. You can't get us into the right position. So. We have all this power, mm. which you say we shouldn't have had. No, we don't have power. Uh, no, Anana, Anana, Anana. allow me to learn. Allow him to die it, for it, a bit. It's, it's difficult. You see, hold on. The, Anana, 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 allow him, please. Allow him, please. I'm just taking from what you said, mm. and I'm looking at the history and the trajectory of right. what has been said. Okay. If with all the power we have, mm -hmm. or we are supposed to have created, you're still saying that we don't have power. 
then maybe we don't even have enough. I'm, I'm, I'm not clear. Mm. So you, you Can can't have your cake and eat it. Right. We put in all this power because we knew that sometimes when you spark your car, mm -hmm. it might not come on. Right. So you have a second car, you send this one to the workshop, and you pick this car up, you go and use it. Is that, is that what we have? We have excess capacity. Okay. And there should be a means of using the excess capacity to fill the holes that exist. But where, where you fire up the plant and it's not coming up, what do you do? It, it but it's be... not, that's not the only plant. Okay. And the way the, the system is structured, it is you, you, he himself, you can move power from one side to the other. Mm. In any event, why are we even having this conversation? You fire up your car, there's a problem. You realize there's a problem. Please call work and tell everybody that. I'm not going to be at work for the next two days because okay. now I have to take alternative transport to come from command. Let us know what the power situation is okay. and tell us this is the timetable. Don't keep quiet. Don't call. You, it's like not going, you don't, you don't turn up at work. Everybody is saying, where are you? Where are you? You haven't called. And then when we, the, your work people say, look, we are going to fire. We are not happy. You then come out. Oh, by the way, my car didn't fire up. And therefore, these are the problems. You don't wait to tell your employer mm. that mm. and your employer here is the Ghanaian community right and the Ghanaian mm. community is saying at least have a plan mm. if you really have this issue as you claim it is mm. why didn't you tell us earlier okay. and why haven't no. you put in Jenny, alternative plans Jenny, for that okay, okay. Jenny, it's, 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 we, we it's, need to move on I agree with you mm. but it's I, I, I'll just beg of you a minute mm. the problem with the excess capacity is not the fact that we have excess capacity we don't I'm coming okay. I'm not saying we don't have excess capacity okay, but no, what I'm are you saying, saying? That the problem with it is the payments we have to make Listen, today as we speak, Akosombo is there. We are not paying anything for Akosombo if Akosombo decides to go, or if we decide not to use Akosombo. Mm. In the case of what has been contracted in terms of excess power, mm. we are paying about $620 million. Is as the a, power available? May, That's may, what we may want I, to know. So, may I, may I explain it to mm. you? Because it's a bit technical, and I always struggle when people decide to go down the path that Ms. Alex Sebefia has okay. gone. But the reality is that, listen, so now let me draw a very accurate picture for you. Okay. You have a car mm. and you've decided to go and rent six other cars and keep in your house when one this, car goes off you can get another car okay so when the car is running mm. you are paying for six other rented cars it doesn't make the other cars useless johnny i don't know if as an individual you will make that decision i'm saying but may i hold on johnny no, can no, i just say please, this I, analogy is not right because he's told us already that they have now created an agreement which says that if you don't use the car, you don't pay the rent. I said that in That is what he's to... saying. No, hold so on. the six cars are there, may but I... you're not paying rent. This may is the new finish? agreement you have. No. Okay, so uh, let's allow him. Let's allow him. No, no, finish. Up. What I said is that in relation to the gas, mm. we've paid off the legacy debts. Right. And I've gotten to this place where we are now doing take and pay. Exactly. Right. So and until you use, you don't pay for exactly. it. The gas. Okay. That is, no, oh. not that until you use, you don't pay for it. Originally, and Remember, this is in a relation to end gas, Nigerian gas. Mm. We had created a legacy debt situation with Nigerian gas, where it got to certain points under the NDC. The Nigerians were refusing to release gas to us because we weren't paying. Mm. We've paid off that gas. And now the arrangement we have with the Nigerians is that what we take, we pay. So there right. are periodic reconciliations. Right. We started negotiations with these take and pay agreements that was done mm. by the NDC in terms of power generation, the mm. plans that they brought in. Right. We haven't concluded with them, but we are still on it. We so, are so it means you can't use them? Is, that, the, is no, that what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. But what are what you saying? What I'm saying is they created a situation where you have a car. Mm. Then you've gone to rent other cars that you're keeping in your house. And you're paying for them. And you're paying for them. Okay. So the so, cars literally are at your beck and call. You can use them when you want to use them. You is can that use, hold on. You can use them when you want to use them. But the issue is, does it make financial sense that the country Ghana? We'll, we'll talk about the financial sense. I, I'm shortly. coming. I, but I I'm saying to, that. I so, want to so I have I have one car. I want to no, no, hold, hold on for me. I have one car, or let's say I have Johnny, one, one cocoa, cocoa cocoa free, and it, it, it gets spoiled. But I have six more. So as soon as this gets spoiled, I still want to have cocoa for 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 a morning. That is then I pick more. this other doy pack of cocoa. I still have cocoa available. That is to ignore the realities on the ground. And that is where we are going to. Because essentially, your, your line of questioning is ignoring what the problem is. What is the problem? The problem is, you have one pack, mm. which is what you need. Right. 
and then you've gone to contract for a room full, okay. which you cannot consume even within a year. You have said that. You have May said I, that. So if you allow me, abundantly, if you allow me, so if you allow me to to make my point then. So as a result of that, we have to pay six hundred and twenty million dollars okay. every year okay. as of twenty nineteen. Okay. Six hundred and twenty million dollars. Now remember that six hundred and twenty million dollars is not put onto your electricity bills. Okay. Because if we have to put that onto your electricity bills, mm -hmm. we'll more than double So so I am struggling to Tell understand me. you. Look, so na -na, if you allow me na -na, just, let, let's let's the, use the back let's, and forth. Let's use packs of food. Hold on, hold on. The back and forth. Let's use packs of food. We are repeating ourselves. Let's use packs of food. I agree and I want to see let's let's use packs of food. I am hungry. I need just one pack of food. But I go and buy six extra packs. I finish eating this first pack. Then I realize that I'm hungry again. You're saying that because I'm paying extra for the six extra, I shouldn't pick a pack no, to consume. No, that, that analogy cannot hold. Why because cannot? The why relation be between the and two. And you brought the analogy of the car. It's May your, I, it's, it's your so, analogy. So I if I'll be allowed to make my I'll point, him, please. then we can learn. Right. That analogy cannot hold because, you see, when you say that you've bought the food, mm. then you take away the fact that there's a recurrent expenditure. Right. I, I, I hope you understand mm. what I'm saying. That's, that's the first one. The second thing is that demand growth in, in the power sector mm -hmm. is not an issue of, okay, I finished consuming the food and, and I, I feel I'm hungry. Okay. Because at peak currently, mm -hmm. we are not even up to 3,000 megawatts. Okay. And we cannot grow that demand like, okay, one night is gone to 3,500. It doesn't happen like that. Okay. So it's a steady thing that you can But we have for. more than 4,000, almost 5,000 so in capacity. What, and what that is costing us as a country is $620 million. Agreed. But I'm saying that if you can't even at peak at peak hours, you don't use up to three thousand or just around three thousand. You have up to five thousand or about five thousand. That excess power can't Ghanaians benefit from it while you try and fix the problems and, with the three thousand. And that's where I'm coming to. Okay. That the sort of power that was procured mostly relies on gas. Okay. Now, when you have a difficulty like what we have now, you have two scenarios that you need to look at. The okay. first one is that. Which plants are the most efficient that mm. you can convert easily mm. to use alternate force? Because remember, even though we were going to take off about 750 megawatts okay. during the period of pigging, mm. we made plans to bring in 780 megawatts of power. The reason being that if we went ahead to convert all the plants mm. to alternate force, the cost attached, and when we're done with this pigging exercise, we'll have to go back and convert everything else again. Okay. At outrageous cost. Thank you. That I, do I not think, make I sense. I think that your your point is that we are spending more than we should be spending. Because because you decided mm. to make very financially imprudent decisions. Mm. And today, the argument you are seeking to make, sadly, it will not wash on any level because, listen, let's be factual with ourselves. Global standards mm. requires 20% excess. Okay. What you have done is close to 100% excess, which... And we still do not have light. So well, that's, that's that is the well, bottom line. Well, well, you have excess, well, and you say well, you don't have light. Well, well, you see, that to say that is to ignore the technicalities of but what you, you have, have done. done. What, 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 yes. Done. Okay, thank you. Thank yes, you to say much. that so, is... See, hold on. To say that is to assume that, for example, there's a notebook. I don't need anything to use a notebook. Nana, today is your birthday. You have I plenty do. white... I agree dresses. with you, but... And but you say, because you couldn't find a particular white dress, means that you don't have a dress to wear out, to go and sit on TV to... Overly, overly simplistic. But overly. That, but that is the principle and, and you're using. No, overly simplistic because, like I'm saying, this is a notebook. I don't need anything to use this notebook. Okay. When you buy a car, do you need fuel to run it? So, where you are incurring costs, that will bring you recurrent costs. And you don't make plans for those recurrent mm -hmm. costs. Then you, you make the argument that, oh, okay, we gave you more power, and okay. now you are unable your to... Your point is it well just, made. 